This is a Be Kind to Pets veterinary educational video sponsored by Topayo Vets. And here we have Choco. On 2nd August 2016, Choco, a 2-year-old male rat, was sent to Topayo Vets due to his respiratory issues. This is a rare case as in Singapore, most pet owners typically own dogs or cats, but not pet rats. However, this is nonetheless a common issue among rats, typically caused by stress, unhygienic rat cages, and a change to a dust-formulated bedding. But what exactly is pneumonia? Well, pneumonia is a serious disease that affects the respiratory system of animals, in this case, Choco the rat. This is largely due to the multiplication in the population of harmful bacteria in the lungs of the rat. Common symptoms include lack of appetite, weakness, dehydration, watery nose, and the presence of blocked nose noise. But what exactly are the implications of pneumonia if left untreated? Well, if left untreated, the rat might develop further complications leading to difficulty in eating or drinking. In a small animal, this is often fatal to the animal as it leaves the animal vulnerable to infections. This might result in death. Diagnosis the standard operating procedure comprises three main sections. The weighing of the rat, the taking of the rectal temperature, and the stethoscope checking of the lungs. However, as the rat was too small and was already under high stress, no rectal temperature could be taken. As part of the standard operating procedure, the rat is first weighed. As can be seen, its final mass amounts to roughly 547 grams. After which, the rat is checked for lung sounds with the stethoscope as part of the next step. Under usual circumstances, the rat's lungs should not make any noises. However, the stethoscope check revealed the presence of some sounds, which confirms that the rat is suffering from pneumonia. Treatment Having diagnosed the rat with pneumonia, most of us will want to find out how the rat was treated. Dr. Singh had recommended an x-ray scanning of the rat as a follow-up, but due to other reasons, this was not carried out. Instead, the rat was issued antibiotics and painkillers as medication. In addition, fruzomite was also administered to help aid the draining of water from the lungs. Finally, a six time a day feeding of critical care, a recovery food product, was also prescribed. Looking back, a likely cause for this infection of Choco might have been due to acts of bullying by another rat, which we shall call Snowy for now. Snowy and Choco are two male rats residing in the same habitat, with Choco on the second floor and Snowy on the first. Similar to hamsters, Acts of bullying might inevitably arise if two male hamsters or rats are kept in the same habitat. This is confirmed by the owner, who once said that Snowy had snatched food from Choco before. Although there was no real fighting involved, the snatching of food might have caused the immune system of Choco to deteriorate, causing bacteria in the lungs to proliferate and resulting in pneumonia. This is confirmed by the owner, who said that Snowy had snatched food from Choco before. Although there was no real fighting involved, the snatching of food might have caused the immune system of Choco to deteriorate causing bacteria in the lungs to proliferate, resulting in pneumonia. Conclusions On a final note to all pet owners, do send your pets to a vet as soon as initial symptoms appear. Delay in seeking treatment might often be fatal, especially in the case of small animals. In the case of Choco, delayed treatment has reduced her chances of recovery significantly. Fortunately enough, Choco is very much alive just one day after treatment. Despite not being fond of consuming critical care, its condition has greatly improved, and further monitoring would be continued to ensure a smooth recovery of Choco. For more information, you can visit topayovets.com or contact one of the hotlines shown below. Thank you for watching, and have a nice day.